Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about single state grid connector solar PV battery system. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. So let's discuss about single state grid connector solar PV battery system in MATLAB. So this is a similar model created for the single state grid connected solar PV battery system. So it consists of a, a grid system. The grid system uh, the rating is 154 megawatt at 34.5 kilovolt. And then here we are having a step down transformer that means the step down to 34.5 kilovolt to 0 0.3 that means 380 volt. And here we are having a two load right load one load two. The load 1 rating is 2 kilowatt, load 2 rating is 1.5 kilowatt. And here we have battery. The battery rating, we are taking a 12 volt battery, that means uh, 40 12 volt battery connected in series. So each battery rating is 5.4 age. Okay. The initial SOC of the battery is 50 percent age. And the rating of the solar PV system is are uh, 15 kilowatt maximum 15 kilowatt and then the, the line to line voltage of the grid side is 380 volt the grid frequency we are considered as 50 hertz okay i am going inside this system so this system consists of solar pv is connected to the uh, dc link right so this is a dc link capacitor so the dc link capacitor the solar pv connected to the dc link and also the same DC link we are connecting the battery right so this is a battery terminal so here we are connecting the battery after that we are having grid inverter right grid inverter and transformer so this is neutral point clamped inverter and then we have LC filter and then step up transformer we are getting around 260 to 380 volt 260, that means 0.26, that means 260 to 380 volt transformer. And also here we are having inverter control. So in inverter control, it is having P into MPPT. So P into MPPT used for extract the maximum power from the PV panel is going to receive the two inputs. One is PV voltage and current. So inside that the PNWBT we have to find out the change in power, change in voltage. So based, based upon change in voltage, change in power, we need to adjust the reference voltage, right? So this is a code inside that the PNWBT. Okay. The PNWBT will provide the reference voltage for the next stage. So here we need to temper this reference voltage with the actual uh, DC link voltage. That means here you can see that here we are measuring the DC link voltage. Okay, so the DC link voltage should be compared with the, this reference voltage from the PM to MBPT and it will be processed via regulator, voltage regulator. So this voltage regulator will be generated the, the direct axis current reference. Okay, and here we are using one concept that means the reference current will be subtracted from the that means. So this is ID, here we have 0.2 into ID reference, that means only we are taking 0.80% uh, of the uh, reference current from the regulator, the remaining 20% is used for uh, charge the battery. Okay. So this reference current will be given here, right? so we have to provide ID reference and IQ reference. So here we are going to only control the real power, so we are consider IQ reference equal to 0. And then in this block, we are converting that uh, point of common coupling voltage that means uh, three phase quantity into two phase quantity. So, here we are measuring that uh, point of common coupling voltage and current. So, and then it is going to be converted into per unit value. So, here we are using PLL for generating ohm IRT. So, this will be used for converting the DBC to DQ0. Okay. So, here you can see that here ABC and then this is DQ0, okay. so we are converting the voltage and current of the point of common coupling into a direct uh, quadrant axis voltage and current. Okay. So here we are only considering VDVQ and ID and IQ of the 
find out common code. Next, we are going to compare that uh, the actual ID IQ from the, the point of common coupling with the ID IQ reference from the dual digit regulator. So, we are going to compare here and then process via current controller. Okay. And also, we are applying decoupling concept of the inverter. Okay. So, finally, we are getting the convert uh, controlled voltage in the, in the form of median VQ. Okay. So after converting that, that means generating control voltage in the form of VDVQ, so we must convert that VDVQ into ABC form, right? So this block is used for converting that uh, the VD, VDVQ into ABC reference, okay? So after that, the actual ABC reference is processed via over modulation pedulium generator. So these over modulation pedulium generator generate the reference voltage for that uh, neutral clamped uh, inverter. Okay. So this will be given to the neutral clamped inverter. So neutral clamped inverter will be uh, control the power flow, right? Control the power flow from solar PV battery to grid side. Okay. So based upon that uh, uh, ID reference current. So here I am going to open this one. This is a load one. So rated voltage is 380 volt 50 hertz 1.5 kilowatt. So load one is 380 volt 50 hertz 2 kilowatt. So now I'm going to fix the irradiation right uh, equal to 1000 watts per meter square and then temperature to 25 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to simulate the model and then we are going to check the result of the system and also here we are having display right so here we are measuring the uh, grid voltage and current so based upon grid voltage and current we are going to calculate the power okay so here we are measuring the pv measurement this one so based upon pv measurement right we are calculating the power and then here we are measuring the load voltage detail okay So based upon load voltage and current, we are calculating the power and here we are measuring the battery detail, that means battery voltage, current and the SOC of the battery. So based upon battery voltage and current, we are calculating the power of the battery. So that going to be used here. Okay. So the, the, the power of grid, PV, load and the battery is converted into kilowatt, right? So this, uh, that can be seen from this scope, right? And also we can see the detail of uh, a power of grid, solar PV battery and uh, load in the display also, okay. So now you can see here, right, now <coughs> the grid power is around minus 10 and solar power is around 14.52 and then battery, so power is around minus 0 0.5 kilowatt right and then load power you can see the 2 and 1.5 so totally 3.5 okay so here you can see that the solar pv will be charge the battery as well as supply the load the remaining power will be given to the uh, grid okay so this is a working of this model under uh, 1000 watts per meter square so now i'm going to change the irradiation from uh, 1000 watts per meter square to 500 watts per meter square and then we can check the response so i'm changing the detail here so here you can see the response so because of change and changing of irradiation from 1000 watts per meter square to 500 watts per meter square so here you can see that <coughs> the pv power now around 7.2 kilowatt and then uh, grid power is around minus 3.5 kilowatt and here you can see the load power is around 3 and 1.5 so it will be maintained constant okay so now we can see that uh, now also the pv supplying the power to the load as well as uh, charge the battery and then supply the power to the grid also okay because you can see that the battery power and the grid power is negative that means the battery charging mode condition and also grid receiving power from the 
solar PV system. Okay. And also you can see the SOC of the battery is keep on rising, right? So that means battery comes under charging mode, right? So now I'm going to, now I'm going to change the irradiation of the solar PV from 500 watts per meter square to 300 watts per meter square and then you will check the response of the system. So what's the changes in the solar PV battery and then the grid side. Okay. Now you can see that uh, the battery and solar uh, the grid power and the battery power almost comes to constant. So now I'm going to change the irradiation from 500 to 300. Now you can see that uh, the battery that in solar PV power is around 4.8 kilowatt, right? So that means the PV is supplying the power to the load as well as you can see that uh, supplying some power to the grid also. Now the battery it comes to discharging mode, right? Because the power of the battery now it goes to charging mode, right? So again, I'm going to change the irradiation to 200. So now you can see that because of change in irradiation, that means reduction in the irradiation. So now you can see that uh, the PV power is around 2.8 and then battery power is around 0.5 kilowatt and grid power is around 0.3, right? So we are getting power from uh, grid also. Okay. So this is a performance of the system with the varying irradiation condition. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye.